right, here we are today at Bishop's Castle up in Colorado, south of Pueblo. The castle is in the background over there. So here at the castle, here is Jim Bishop's old truck. There's the model over there. Um, there's lots of cool, crazy signs that talk about all kinds of stuff. I've been here before. Sarah has never been here, so I'm showing this to her. Enter at your own risk, private property. You must read the sign before entering. We are not responsible for your safety. We are not responsible for your, phys your physical, mental, or emotional well-being. Bishop Castle, Castle is under construction. Proceed past this point with extreme caution. You must keep children, pets, and... This is an old sign. Uh, something something are paying. Oh, it's gonna be something about the people or something like that are pawns of the devil and complacent and guilty through treason. This bishop will win this time. The diagnosis is in, the illusion is over. They have been weighed, measured, and found wanting. The remedy is God through Jesus Christ. Seems legit. This place is nuts. If you're down here in Colorado, you should definitely, definitely come. Bishop's Castle is an extremely unique place. Um, it's even free to get in, although you can donate. But I would suggest you come here, read the Wikipedia page, look around, enjoy the place. If you are scared of heights, you should definitely not be here. Look at the people way up there. Way, way up there. All right, let's go check it out. Jim started the castle, not his father. There's the um, dragon head. Just. Jim, Jim's father, Willard, built this round part only. Jim has constructed by hand everything else. So his father started the castle, but he finished oh. it. Oh. All right, let's walk back into the... All right, it's snow time. Walk back into the gatehouse. Look at this. Twisted. I don't know if you can see it very well. We it's twisted. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Yeah. She's pretending. This is super safe. Oh, yeah. And then there's <coughs> this. And there's cabinets. Fire ban strips human rights. Ask yourself, how long has man had fire? How long has mankind made peace around a fire? Would we be what we are without fire? Would mankind have survived without fire? Old timers talk about a drought 60 years ago, similar to 2002. They don't mention any fire bans. By what authority can our government strip, of us of, strip us of our rights? If we let our government take fire, what freedoms will they demand their slaves to sacrifice next? For the welfare and safety of the masses um, is merely a disguise of slavery. The problem is ignorance and apathy. Correct the problem. Protect your rights. Take a stand. Slavery is not for me. It's slavery for you. Oh. <laughs> That was good. These are my I didn't people. even plan that with you. <laughs> you just did it. Always have fire available. Yep. Oh! Oh, no. Oh! That blended in with the ground. I didn't see it. <laughs> Look, there's cabinets. And oh. there's water in here if you need some. Holy cow. I think that's called ice. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Then you got to be really careful because it's really dark in here. And icy. Ooh. Did you find light? Oh, your phone. iPhone light. Oh, this is really hard with one hand. All right. Now we're on top. There's a Land Cruiser. Hello, Land Cruiser. We didn't really film anything on this trip. There's the uh, whatever that tunnel thing is down there. This is cool. This is his coolest donation box up here. Oh, that's what that is. Yeah. He made a little castle one. Oh, man, I'm bleeding. Not bad, though. Anyways, we are at the top of Bishop's Castle right now. This is actually not the top. We were up at the top over there a minute ago, and we weren't really filming. We were just concentrating on being up there. I don't know how tall it is, maybe like eight stories or something, but it doesn't really have much holding it together, especially when you're inside of there. All the welding is super old school stick welding. Some of the welding's done well. A lot of the welding in places is broken. We were up there a minute ago, and it was super, super sketchy. 
Sarah right now is out on, I don't know what that thing is. Maybe they used it. Maybe he was building like another dragon head. Like there's a dragon head uh, right there. But this place is famous for having one person build pretty much most of it. Um, and it's crazy, like whenever, he, first of all, I'm standing on ice in the middle of a tower, like out on the edge. Um, the guy has no fear of heights whatsoever. Um, wherever he needed anything, whether it be a ladder or anything, he just built it, just grabbed steel and just started welding it together. Um, this, don't shake <laughs> and ruin this iron work, it could collapse. So we were just up there and as you're standing up there, the entire thing, just as you're standing, shakes like crazy. Everything is super sketchy where going out on this bridge like once you get over the other side you're just supposed to climb down a homemade ladder like lattice thing but I don't yeah. know if you can really see it over there oh god we're both on camera yeah but that's what it looks like so we're yeah, and the thing's vibrating <laughs> we as you walk across probably yeah probably not <laughs> and then when you look at what holds it in you're just like wait this is it like, what holds that in? <sighs> All right, let's go back up here for a minute. Hello, welds. It's kind of held on. This is weird. I didn't realize this. This was meant to rotate originally. It's on wheels. Oh, wow. That's insane. Oh, and it has like a track system on the outside too. So that that's why it vibrates so much when you're up there. The whole thing rotates. That is crazy. And look at this. Oh, wow. Broken steps. And just like wire Do we need to try to rotate rigged it together. Up there? Yeah, no, I don't think we'll rotate <laughs> this while I'm up here. Just a patchwork of metal there. Yeah, so like these pieces are there's broken stuff up here everywhere. There's welding and when that failed, you had that. Mr. Bishop was incredibly resourceful. What's crazy is the thing hasn't fallen in decades with people up here. You can kind of see it, see it vibrating. Um, you know, unsupervised wailing on this thing. All the snow that falls on the thing. Whew. This is about as much guardrail as there is anywhere. You can see the thing vibrate against each other. Man, I feel so, so high right now. And it's kind of built into a hill, so you can't really see how high we are. But we are extremely high. I mean, like, you're high inside that room down there. You're, you know, a few stories up, and we are many stories above that. And those little minarets, or whatever you call those things, they are built out of barrels and then they cut them open, and I guess he has fires up there. He likes fire a lot. Here's Sarah. The one nice part about these stairs is the snow falls through mostly, so these aren't icy. Some of the other stairs in this place, you know, you're eight stories up, and uh, there's ice on them. You having fun? I got a cool panoramic. Yeah? Of that tower. Oh, that's cool. All right, let's keep going. Do, 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 do. Lots and lots of stairs. Oh, and if you look at how everything's held in. Don't look at it. Like, everything's just kind of held in like that. This is actually the best part of it, how it's held in. A lot of it, once we get further down, it's much, much sketchier. Like, there's just these little wires punched in probably with a hammer or something, and then he just welds everything to those. So there's not actually a central structure or anything here. There's like no pole. That's the true. only thing holding us up at this point are these little tiny guys. But they're doing a good job. <laughs> but it's literally like a slightly oversized nail. Nail, oh God, that might be what it is. No. <laughs> Nailed in. And I was wondering how he built it. If he just built it like one stair at a time as he came and the bricks, or I guess the rocks and stuff, or if there's like a tube structure going all the way through, I'm sure you can look it up somewhere. 
and figure out how he did this thing by himself. And this is like the big room inside. So we were just, you know, a few stories above that. That's the roof that we were looking down upon. Some stained glass work. Floor way down there. I'm standing out over a ledge, which I probably shouldn't. Ugh. Keep going. Oh, look, there's a cord. I love it. No safety anywhere. So you can just crawl out on the roof. <laughs> Ugh. Back inside. All right. Back up in here. The what are we looking at? Yeah. A lot of metal work in there. That's so cool. More stairs going down. I think he currently lives out in that trailer, which is cool. No guardrail here. We could just fall, I don't know what that is, three stories to our death? So if you look at this, the only thing holding it up is that little work. We were just up there. Actually, we were just up over there in the cage. And before I was shooting, we were up there. All right, and now downstairs. When I say downstairs, we're still way above ground level. Oh, there's something to read. Hey, an actual ladder. What is this? There's a lot of electrical cords stuff. And bulbs. And what's this? Is that a washing machine? An old tiny washing machine? Oh, it kind of looks like it, yeah. Dry stuff here. This must have been here for like 50 years. That's crazy. When you used to live here, maybe. Maybe this is where you live. And that looks like an oven from 50 years ago. Uh, is this an elevator? Uh, yeah, so they can pull stuff up. Upstairs, there's no safety stuff on it. Look, a helmet. Oh, safety safe first. Safety. All the people who died were here. <laughs> I think they're donors. But I like the idea of people who died here more. All right, so that's the front, that's the back, that's up to that big ball. This is gonna go up and then over, I think, and up to the tallest tower. So that's what we're about to go do right now. Boop. That goes downstairs a few floors. Oh, did you see the elevator thing has no safety right over there? All right, let's go up. Probably needs a generator. Like hooked up and running. The base. I'll try to climb out. Just in case you need to, I don't know, climb out there. Turret. Window thing. I don't know what anything's called. This must have been back in like a different day when there was more concrete stairs, like more sturdy stairs. And then he thought, oh, this is way too much work. And if they fall. Yeah. Really heavy. All right. That's the tower we're trying to get to. All right, we'll skip this one. Go to this one. Oh, my head. We're going to the tallest tower? Yep, we're going back up to bird poop. Look at the anchors. That's what's holding us in. <laughs> I 
And look at the construction of what holds everything up. Just wherever you had pipe, put pipe everywhere. Her angle iron. Oh, I wonder why that one's bent. Also, we just came up from Texas, so we're breathing hard. <laughs> we're at elevation, look at that. That angle iron wasn't the correct length. So it took a couple pieces to get a three foot or two foot piece. It's a little add on. Yeah. Part of this one's already rested away. Now we have little fireplaces up here. We're really high now. That's how high the bridge and that dome thingy, I don't know what to call that. I'm tired. Are, and that's how high that roof was. Being like unprotected eight stories up feels really sketchy. Oh, Sarah's going back up to show off. All the way to the very top. Yeah. Butt shot. Oy. Country girl noises. <laughs> uh, all right, one more step, it's a big one. And now you're at the top. Yep. Do you feel accomplished? Yeah. Good job. The queen of the castle. Yep. Yeah, the view is beautiful. Up here in these mountains. Ooh, look at all the safety. Look at this. Look at this. So that was one of his crane setups to get stuff up here. He probably didn't want to bring rocks up one at a time. He probably also didn't know when he was going to stop sometimes. So like the cranes aren't well built like for forever use kind of thing. But um, I would imagine he had to build those all the way up as he went and then cut them back off and reuse the metal. They're like a plane. All right. You living up there now? Yeah, I like it up here. I should have brought Lone Star Drift stickers or stickers I know. up there. There's a light up here too. Is it safe enough for two of us? So. I sure hope they don't pull this thing down after he dies. I'm really glad it's not windy today. Yeah. That would make this a little Look at that. Nice. That feels high when you're inside that building down there. It's like, because the levels you come in, it's three stories. So that little tiny building is three stories. I might be way off. We might be like 20 stories up. Yeah. I'll look it up on Wikipedia. Come on up. Whew. <laughs> Do you want to get up here or you get... No, you can be the champion <laughs> up there. But whatever this is now is probably its finished state for his life. Look at this pipe. This pipe keeps this whole place together. There's trash in it. Or at least the, the welding of the pipe does. All right, try not to step on my hands. Okay. Back down. You're brave for filming when you're going. Yeah. One-handed. Oh, look at that. That's engineering. It's a pipe slid inside a pipe. Oh, good. Yeah. That's good stuff. Good job, Bishop. Sir, Bishop. Craftsmanship. You know, we laugh at his craftsmanship, though. And again, this place is still standing. Oh, look at And has brought so much joy to everybody. Oh, my oh, God. that's not comforting. Wait, we thought we yeah. were actually on top of a great pipe that went the no. entire way? No. This is the joining of this the two is pipes. This what we were standing on. It wasn't actually the correct height even, so we put two different pieces of metal in there <laughs> to make it like the correct height. See, there's the trash. That's crazy. Oh, Do you feel safe? No. Well, I'm glad that we're not up there yeah. anymore. Holy cow. Okay. okay. Well, well, that's not how I expected this to be. <laughs> so I guess this pipe really doesn't do much except attach the stairs to it. I'm hoping that there's some type of pipe or something in these walls holding this place up. Hmm. You would hope. Do to do walking down with the camera. It seems safe. Joins. Oh, this one. That one's loose and moves. It's okay though. Oh my God, I just realized he couldn't afford or get this pipe here 
and single big pieces. So it's joined together sometimes every three or four feet. Wow. He made it really straight though, which is amazing. Recycled things. The heck is this? A hinge? There's a hinge inside this. Hmm. I don't even know why a hinge would be in there. If you happen to get into our channel and you don't know what drift cars is, this is like a drifting channel, race car stuff. So we do, I like uh, do tech inspection on cars all the time and check for welds and check for roll cage stuff and pipe fitment. So this is part of my job is like checking for this stuff. Not like a real welding inspector or anything, but um, just you have to look at craftsmanship all the time and make a decision whether it's safe or not specifically to go fast on tracks. <sighs> and you would not build a race car out of this stuff. Wow, he got a bell up here. This bell probably weighs 250 pounds, maybe more. I can't tell. Like, it's that big, solid cast iron or something like that. Um, I have no idea how we got that up here. It has to be crazy. Oh, broken step. <laughs> Also, this is my head height trying to get under this. So it's like at waist height. So I have to kneel down on the stairs and squeeze through. Here you can see uh, there's actually like floor missing here that no one has repaired recently. It's not a big deal. You're not going to fall through. Oh, dungeon. We were already in there, right? The no, that's a different dungeon area. Here's the noose. Oh, get in it. Where they... Uh... Take Hang people you. out. Yeah. It won't fit. It Too bad. More and more is everything about money. Please donate. Jim Bishop. Let's give him 25 bucks. That was worth it. Boom. All right, here's one of the lower levels. The local government don't want you people to enjoy this free attraction. For many years they tried, but failed to oppress and control my God-given talent to hand-build this great monument to hard-working poor people, always open, free. They could not control within zoning and other petty rules, so in August, uh, I assume 2002 or just August 2nd, um, they tried to bankrupt and ruin and slander the Bishop family name by pursuing 35 criminal counts on false allegations. My God-given undeniable right set forth in the Constitution have been violated. Article 8, no guilt till proven, so no excessive bail, no cruel punishment. A $50,000 cash only ransom was placed on my head. I am no flight risk, no court convictions. I am not a criminal. A trial doctor, a forensic pro testified that no gunshots in the castle and the prosecutor incompetent. The ju jury ruled Jim Bishop not guilty. All charges <laughs> yet when sentenced. Dan Bishop on one simple misdemeanor. The judge ruled that the sheriff picked one of the Jim's guns. That is court ordered theft. Help. Oh, look at that up there. I wish I had a wide angle lens so I could make it look way, way taller. Here is the model I was talking about. Which is a model of the building, how he probably wanted it to be. Yeah, so this I'm probably predates I would guess this actually predates the top part of some of this stuff. And I think that tower over there, or maybe that one said 1994-ish. Um, so they weren't finished until the 90s, I don't think. And that one might have said 2002, I don't remember. He must have moved all this rock with this one truck, probably. Unless he just paid to have it delivered. So imagine how many trips this truck has done over the decades. I've been here before in the past a couple years ago, though, and I haven't seen this thing ever move, so it probably just got left here. And that is it. I am going to head back to Texas now. We came up here and went off-roading in the snow and had some fun, and now it is time to go back to work and get 2019 Lone Star Drift season underway. Most of the dates are already planned out. Everything's going, but like we typically take a winter trip. This one, we didn't do much wheeling. I don't know why. We, I guess it was just super, super cold. It was like negative 15 or something for the beginning of our trip. So we didn't spend so much time outside, but I will see everybody later. Bye. It was beautiful. So you enjoyed it? Yeah. It wasn't a waste of a trip? No, I'm really glad we went. Okay. Any, but... any words of wisdom for people? Mm, don't go on a windy day. We land cruising. Look at this road.
we right as I flip us into a ditch and some lane cruiser. <laughs> Although if there's anything, I am probably good at driving on low traction surfaces. Yeah.